Welcome to the Raj. It is the bottom of the first inning. Cole Blankenship just got hit by a pitch. Ivan Miller to plate. That's going to be a wild pitch. Cole move up to second. The Nitro Wildcats went one, two, three in the top half of the first. Cross Con on the mound for the Wildcats as we made the jump in record time from the girls' softball field over here. Oh, we're, we're professionals now. Yeah. We got this down. Ivan Miller at the plate right now. 2 0 count to Ivan. Logan High Wildcats uh, following the Hoover game. We were saying Cabell Millen, but it's the Herber Herber, Hoover. Or it's a hurricane. hurricane. Wrecking, Hurric I said Herber yeah. Hoover. Yeah. Hurricane Husk, or, uh, Redskins. Ivan swung, Moon shot, shot straight up the <laughs> silo, and that's going to be the shortstop on the right side of second base. And he came all the way over. Going to make that play for the second out of the inning. Chase Hatfield grand grounded to second to start the game, and that's going to bring up the designated hitter, Rob Ball. Rob is hitting for cross con. As pitch on the way to Rob, swung on a missed. Swung over top of that pitch. As Brady Whitman on the mound for the Nitro Wildcats, as we'll set some stuff up here quick as we get settled. 0-1 pitch, swung on, missed again. Quickly ahead, 0-2. Rob sporting that uh, mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> 0-2 pitch to ball, swung on and missed for a Shane O'Brien Thompson strike three to end the inning. We'll go to the top half of the second. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. I'm Jennifer May, family nurse practitioner at Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare at Chatteroy, West Virginia. Mountain Laurel is a federally qualified health center providing primary care and other medical services to individuals and families in Southern West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. Besides being a family nurse practitioner, I'm also a wife and mother of two. I've had a passion to work in the healthcare field for many years. This isn't just a job for me, it's a calling. Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare, where change begins. When looking for that special place for your next event, you might want to consider the Logan Country Club. You won't find a more beautiful setting or better service than right here locally. The Logan Country Club, located in Chapmanville, offers a wide variety of services such as weddings, parties, business meetings, and catering. They have a spectacular golf course for those who enjoy a day of golf. The Logan Country Club is always excited to welcome new members at any time. The Sunday Lunch Buffet is open every Sunday from noon till 3. So come out and enjoy some of the finest home-cooked meals in Logan County, right here at the Logan Country Club. As we'll go to the top half of the second inning. Cross con on the mound for the Wildcats to set the defense. It's Ilderton, Baisden, Miller, across the infield, Akers, Cole Blankenship, Chase Hatfield, Luke Blankenship at first, Gage Hensley behind the plate. For the Wildcats, Barrett Van Kemp leads off Luke Gordon, Luke Buckner, Devin Hatfield, Rocco Lazo is the designated hitter. For the catcher, Brady Whitman's on the mound. Michael Thor, Noah Ross, and Jace Wilkinson to round it out for the Wildcats. It'll be Maynard, Lazo, Whitman due up. Rocco Lazo, the son of Mike Lazo, basketball official. Oh, okay. As Con's first pitch. Lazo's a Glenville guy. He's a pioneer. No, that's not cross anymore, is it? Nope, they made a switch. They made a switch. Does that stick? Yes. 2 0 to Hatfield. Let's, let me get the card pulled back up. Number seven. As that is Devin Stewart on the mound as Stewart's pitch lined into left. Yelderton up with it and fires it back into Cole. As Lead off on. Not sure 
maybe if that was the plan, was the let cross throw one, then come with Stewart. But regardless, they're still in the in the uh, finding out where. We got who over there warming up too. I have to look at the car. Twenty four. As next pitch from Stewart, it's going to be behind Lazo for ball one. Has no score here in the top of the second. Squares the bunt going. Hensley's throw to second base, not in time. As it'll be a stolen base for Hatfield. Good jump by uh, Hatfield there. It was a strike, though, wasn't it? It was a 1 1 now to Lazo. Yeah, Mike's a Glenville. I think he played for Rodriguez, too. Bunt down, foul. Lazo's a Concord product. Huh? Who are you talking about? La Lazo? Yeah, I thought Lazo's he Lazo's a Concord Is guy. He Concord? Yep, in the Hall of Fame. Okay. 1 2 to Rocco. That point, actually, I think this past year he went in the Hall of Fame. Concord. That's right. Quarterback. That's, plant, that's right. Plantation, not, Florida. That's right. Heck of a basketball official. As one, two pitch to Lazo. He's at the States every year, two. isn't he? Yes, sir. As it looks to be Craig Johnson behind the plate there and Doug Ward out in the middle. As your umpires here tonight, or this afternoon. Next pitch from Stewart outside, three and two. This is what was going to be the second game of the Jordan Butcher Classic, as last night was a wash due to, man, we, we've got some weather from Wednesday. Last three on. nights, yeah. As Stewart's next pitch fought off. Not going to make slab town, no. but that is going to be a mud, muddy mess. For whoever's chasing that one out of the dugout. Oh, uh, speaking of which, I just. Uh, what no, did you do? Basically? I don't know where I got that. Oh, down here, right there. I'm sure. wasn't paying attention. Full count pitch again. Dead ball as that hits Stewart Dang. or hits Lazo. Yeah. That puts them on first and second. As that'll bring up Brady Whitman. As Coach Kevin Gertz off his chair. And out to the mound. Oh, God. Coach has done got his hokas dirty. Yeah, these things are like Gore-Tex material, so they'll have to be washed. I'm thinking simply wiping it, wiping it down with a damp washcloth is going to do good. Quick meeting out there. As I did it right there. I'd say I did it right there on the other side. Get ready to get started over there. As runners on first and second, and no, nobody out with Brady Whitman, the pitcher, at the plate for the Wildcats. He squares the bunt, foul ball. I don't think it got Gage in the leg. Coach New to the Raj. Here's our windscreen behind home plate. Hmm. As to eliminate the uh, mal malcontents on the, the bridge. The, <laughs> the bridge brigade will not be happy. No. Nope. <laughs> Next pitch from Stewart. Low one on one. Now to Whitman. So it comes set. Square Whitman squares the bunt. Good, Good bunt. bunt. Yeah. As Stewart up with safe. it. He was he was through the bag. Before Stewart got there. Base is loaded. That's an infield single. 
for Whitman, and that'll bring up Thor Michael Thor. Who's twenty-four? Got to look. As William Bryant getting loose in the pen as they're loaded with nobody out. As Thor takes a swing, he's going to nub that one out at the mound. That would come home and beats it. As that Nitro goes up, one nothing. One nothing on the. Fielder's choice, wouldn't they? Yeah, fielder's choice there. So no RBI. Well, no, you get an, RB, an RBI, you get an RBI on safe, that. Yeah. If there's an out on the fielder's choice, there's not an RBI. As Noah Ross. But the, single, basically, right? The, the right fielder steps up. with Still with them loaded, nobody out. Pitch on the way. Called strike to Ross. Come set, pitch on the way, swung on. Yeah. Now 0 2. Come inside to him there and handcuffed him there on the pitch. As Wilkinson, the shortstop, waits on deck. Top second, 1 0. Nitro leads. Wind's picking up now. As 0 2 pitch, foul back. That's going to make it across. Count will stay 2 0. Lined into left hit. field. That's going to be a base hit. That'll score one as they'll hold the runner as that'll be an RBI single for Ross as Sneed's Wildcats will elect to play for the big inning. We're going to run her at third for the pitcher now. Hogan just needs an out here, wherever they get it. As the shortstop, Jace Wilkinson, will step to the plate. Timeout. Yep. As, I believe as, Kevin's going to the bullpen. As William Bryant, William Spike Bryant, will come to the mound for the Wildcats. As we'll step aside, take a timeout. We'll be back with you right after this. We'll be back. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. I'm Jennifer May, family nurse practitioner at Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare at Chatteroy, West Virginia. Mountain Laurel is a federally qualified health center providing primary care and other medical services to individuals and families in Southern West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. Besides being a family nurse practitioner, I'm also a wife and mother of two. I've had a passion to work in the healthcare field for many years. This isn't just a job for me, it's a calling. Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare, where change begins. When looking for that special place for your next event, you might want to consider the Logan Country Club. You won't find a more beautiful setting or better service than right here locally. The Logan Country Club, located in Chapmanville, offers a wide variety of services such as weddings, parties, business meetings, and catering. They have a spectacular golf course for those who enjoy a day of golf. The Logan Country Club is always excited to welcome new members at any time. The Sunday Lunch Buffet is open every Sunday from noon till 3. So come out and enjoy some of the finest home-cooked meals in Logan County, right here at the Logan Country Club. Two left. Work to complete his warm up pitches here as Cats are in a little bit of trouble. Two nothing with the bases loaded, nobody out. Once again, like we said, Coach, this was initially a two game. So we're added. Yeah. We called it to be called the Jordan Butcher Classic. 
who Jordan was taken from us tragically a few months ago as he was a former Logan Wildcat basketball and baseball standout, went on to play baseball at West Virginia State for the legendary Cal Bailey as – we, we were playing these two to honor him, so instead of Friday, Saturday, we'll do it Saturday, Monday. Okay. So, we'll, we got an add-on Monday night against the Scott Skyhawks as Bryant's ready to go. As Wilkinson, the short stops up. First pitch to him, off speed, outside, ball one. The wind is swirling here as it's blowing in on the baseball field, out on the softball field. Yeah, that ball hit. As Bryant's next pitch swung on, swung on and missed. One Behind and, us. One and one. We got the Lady Wildcats playing the Hurricane Redskins behind us, just un underway over there. Bryant comes set, pitch on the way, swing and a miss as Wilkinson's down one and two. Wildcats need an out. Come set, pitch ready to go. Swung on and missed. As Wilkinson goes down for the first out of the inning, and that is the first Shana, nope, second. Second Shana O'Brien mm -hmm. Thompson yep. for third quarter judge, strike three. In of the baseball season. This is our first baseball broadcast. As that'll turn the lineup over to Barrett Van Camp. As first pitch to him's up. 1 0. Van Camp, the second baseman. This is the first home game yep. for the uh, so Wildcats. They were, they were supposed to play the first week at home a couple times. Weather got them. So, well, weather and the, fin and the uh, wall. As next pitch on the way, one and one. We had to fix the left field fence out here. As the good people at Superior Pocahontas mm -hmm. came in, fixed the fence out in left field for us. Right, came in throwing strikes. Curveball turned over. Going to be tough to get to. Acres goes the second. Ooh. As Hatfield can't handle it. That'll be another fielder's choice. As Kevin pleads his case that it was on the exchange to no avail. As that'll bring up Luke Gordon, the center fielder. With them loaded and one out now. I mean, nice return and double here for the Wildcats. Pitch on the way, swung on and missed. Off speed there to Van Camp. Oh, nope, sorry. Gordon, ripped that in the wrong spot. Squares the bunt, we're gonna squeeze. Gets it out there. As Got him. Nice play there by Gage. Hensley, as Gage is able to get that bunt, he was up the line. Gage was able to get it, reach over, and tag the runner. As that'll go as a three unassisted for the second out. As that'll bring up Buckner with two outs, and the the Cats looking to uh, minimize the damage here. Nitro's got three runs here in the inning. As Maynard's trying to come in and not give up a run. Buckner pitched curveball for a strike. As this is the ninth hitter to step to the plate for Nitro. Oh one pitch on the way. Foul back. back. Straight back. Oh and two. Yes. O oh, two two outs. 
O2 pitch on the way, taking high, yeah. one and two. Now to Buckner. He's released that high, just stayed up there. One, two on the way, lined in the left. It's going to be foul. Yanked it as off the fence. Turned on that one just a hair too early. As Time out there from Buckner. As Bryant comes set. Pitch on the way. Up. Evens it up at two and two. Gage wanted that pitch outside there. That's where he's setting up for it. Try to throw the curveball again. It runs it full. As full count, two outs. Runners will be moving on the pitch. Pitch on the way to Buckner. Swung on and missed. And the Cats get out of the inning. Only giving up three. We'll go to the bottom half of the second. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. The 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander. At Thornhill Mitsubishi, get thunderstruck. Accidents, illness, heart attacks, strokes. When an emergency strikes, count on Logan Regional Medical Center. We're here providing emergency care 24-7 including the higher levels of emergency heart care found in our accredited chest pain center and our enhanced cleaning, mask requirements, and social distancing to help keep you safe. Emergency care at Logan Regional Medical Center. When minutes matter, count on us. Mitsubishi Outlander. Welcome back. Blankenship. Acres based and due up for the Wildcats. As Whitman back to the mound for Nitro. As Luke will take a first pitch fastball strike. Luke did some work, uh, weight room work in the offseason this year. 0 oh, 1, low 1 oh, 1. One one pitch, fisted to third. Up with it. First Take baseman can't handle it. Hit him on the heel of the heel of the glove. That was Hatfield across the Thor. Could not come up with it. As that was going to be a tough play anyway. That'll bring up Tanner Acres. As Tanner's been swinging a hot bat here for Logan. Had a big double against Chapmanville. As first pitch fastball taken for a strike. As I was talking to Kevin Gertz, since Tanner made the move to third, it seems like he's kind of fell into a comfort zone. Settled and that, in. And that's good. helped him to, at the plate. As 1-0 pitch swung on grounded foul in a hole 0-2. Throw over. 
Don't think old Luke's going to be running. No, he ain't going to get off too far. Huh. Don't think I'd have showed him my good one. 0-2 pitch to Akers. Swung on, fouled off into the screen. Stay 0-2. One two pitch from Whitman. Oh, hit him right in the back. Take him how you can get him. As Tanner Akers is on first, Blankenship will move up on the hit by pitch, and that'll bring up Adam Baisden for the Wildcats. These next three have uh, done some work in the weight room uh, in the off season. There, put on a little bit of muscle. I would say Baisden. Uh, I didn't pay attention to Kevin, but he's bunting as Baisden. Bunts it right back to the pitcher as he'll go to first. Nope, didn't get him. Hesitation there by Whitman. Yep. Allowed Bazden to beat it out. He got down the line good. Bases. Bases juiced. Don't be loaded now for the catcher, Gage Hensley. Has trouble in the second inning for both guys on the mound. Has. That's going to bring up. The Wildcat catcher, he's been platooning a little bit with Alton Ellis so far early on in the season. As Whitman will stand up and he'll go from the windup with nobody out. First pitch on the way to Hensley. Oh, hit him too. That got by. Thought he'd get by him? Oh, I thought he hit him in the shoulder. It, no. I think it fooled everybody. Yep. Like, including, yeah. <laughs> including the guy <laughs> batting. Yeah. Like, did they hit me? Fooled everybody as one oh pitch to Hensley swung on a missed one one as McCormick Gilderton on deck as Seth Hainer has joined us here in the uh the outfield perch as it's now one and two to gauge. Good crowd, home crowd here. On this Saturday afternoon, one-two pitch to Hensley. Hi. Good two weather two. other than the wind blowing a little bit. Yeah, man. It is. Ooh, I lost my, my Cheetos. Tents hanging on for mercy. Whitman, again, inside, runs a count full. Everybody will be staying put here with nobody out. Cats look to steal one here. Pitch on the way. It's going to be nice lined shot. in the left. Yeah. It's going to be down. One runs in. Akers is going to be in. Bazin will stop at second on a two-run single by Gage Hensley. Nice job with the catcher there. Good job behind the plate. And doing it with his uh, bat, too. Yes. Hilderton will step to the plate. Got a runner there. And I, I can't see that number. It's probably Jace Wolf. As I would say, Mac probably going to be bunting here with nobody out. See squares. Whitman's pitch on the way. Going to take a strike. And yeah, we're going to take flight here in a minute. Batting down the hatches, boys. Oh, the. TV's over. Mac pops the bun up. Catcher. Oh, he probably dropped, dropped it. Wow. He took his eye off the ball right as he hit his glove. My goodness. Boys, it is. Boys, if we didn't have Seth Hainer and all the weightlifting he's done in this, we'd be gone. I mean, we would have we would have absolutely just blew away. I mean, he's single-handedly holding the perch down. Yeah, no, we're not good. Don't say nothing you don't want heard. <laughs> 0-2 pitch to Mac, taking high, 1-2. That's 1-2 pitch on the way again. Mac fouls that one straight back. That's, we never had a gust that blew the monitor and everything over. Yeah, that was a big one. 2-2 pitch to ba or no, Gilderton. Kevin getting out of the way there. Hey, play ad hoc, Kev. Didn't want no part of that one. 
Three, two, top half of the, or bottom half of the second as, whoa. Whitman, looking to work quick. Hadn't even put the ball back in play yet. <laughs> two, two pitch. Called strike. Called strike three as that'll be the first out of the inning on a Shane O'Brien Thompson for Circuit Court Judge strike three. That turns the lineup back over to Chase Hatfield with one out. And again, I haven't I updated the, the runner yet on game changer. I, I expect Hatfield to be bunting. Squares outside, one low. Field squares again, takes a strike. Neither. Well, where, where we thought that one was, but one and one. Kev's going to give it to him again. Yes, that's outside 2 and 0. Oh. Basin on second, Wolf on first, as once off that time, three and one. Three one pitch, Ooh, swung, swung on. on a missed, three and two. Counts run full to Hatfield. 3-2 pitch on the ways. He's going to fly that one to le toward left. Might be a little bit of trouble. That wind, as left fielder Buckner comes on for it. I don't even think he's sure, sure he caught it because he turned around and looked behind him. As that'll go down as a F7 for the second out. And that brings up shortstop Cole Blankenship, who was hit by a pitch back in the first inning. That was a good play by the fielder there because uh, the, he's battling the wind all the way. Goodman's first pitch. Drops it in Blanking there. chip, curveball for strike one. <laughs> oh, one pitch inside. inside, one and one. One one pitch to Blankenship, grounded toward third and foul. One and two. It's gonna take a while to go get that ball. It went way down there. Somebody's on a on their horse though. One two pitch to Cole, Ooh. swung on and missed, and that'll do it for the bottom half of a second. As the Wildcats plate two, we'll go to the top half of the third. You're listening to local Wildcat baseball action on Mountain Dream Speedy. Hello, I'm Elise Hinkle, Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner and Director of Behavioral Health at Coalfield Health Center. Our providers have experience with a full spectrum of disorders. To schedule an appointment with one of our providers, call 304-855-1222. As a community, let's help each other address mental health. We are here for you when you are ready. Coalfield Health Center. Let our family take care of your family. Superior Pocahontas has been serving Southern West Virginia for over 40 years, specializing in excavation and reclamation. We are the ones to call. Services include drainage systems, retaining walls, flood control, sewage disposal systems, and much more. Give us a call today at 304-752-4312. We would be more than happy to assist you. Superior Pocahontas, serving Southern West Virginia. Whether you like traditional banking or online banking, Logan Bank & Trust has you covered. LBNT has five convenient locations where customers can stop in, make a deposit, get a loan, or a new instant debit card. Too busy to stop in? Don't worry. Logan Bank & Trust offers online banking with mobile deposits, banking app, and loan applications at the click of a button from anywhere, any place, and any time. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Logan Bank & Trust. We are the difference. 
Yeah, welcome back to the Rods. Top half of the third inning. 3 2. High throw leads as it'll be Hatfield, Lazo, and Whitman do up. Spike still on the mound. As first pitch to Hatfield. So he kind of got everything started with a walk last inning. As he'll swing and miss at an off speed pitch. One and one. One one pitch on the way. He rolled over to short. Cole up with it. Across the loop. Good stretch. And he is out. Four to six three put out. As Luke might have got out on that front foot just a hair too early, but was able to hang on. Mm -hmm. As Lasso will come to the plate as he was hit by a pitch. Back in the second inning. As he's hit by a pitch in the third inning. Hmm. As we'll go to first, that'll bring up Brady Whitman, the pitcher. Whitman singled last time, but an infield single. First pitch on the way. Gage can't handle it as Lazo will move up to second. That one just popped out of the mitt. There's runner in scoring position now with one out. Pitch to Whitman fouled off going to be on the playground. One and one. Brian came in, Brian came in and calmed the waters. Last inning for the Wildcats. As Nitro threatened with the bases loaded the entire inning. Two one there now as that's taken high. He just released that high out of his hand. That was odd delivery there. Two one count now to Whitman. On the way. Oh, did hit it hit him? It hit him. Or, yep, got him. That's back to back. Hit by pitch. For Spike Bryant, as that will bring up Michael Thor, who had an RBI, Fielder's Choice, and then got was the three was the two unassisted on the bunt. First and second, one out. Curve ball inside, ball one. No action in the pen, so we'll roll with Brian here for a little bit. As that's a lead from second. As that's going to be taken high there, 2 and 0. Oh. When he missed, he's missing high. That ain't where you want to miss here. Nope. It's a sign. He comes set. Pitch on the way. He swung on a missed as Lazo tries to steal third, and he's going to get it. As they'll be on the corners. Now with a 2 1 count. Good and jump off the ball there. As he didn't have a real good lead either. No. But as soon as that ball 
that pitch came in, he took off. Two one counting out of Thor. We'll see if they run runner goes from first. As we're gonna throw straight back to third as the runner will take it. So now it is three one. With runners on second, third, one out. Yep. Both runners in scoring position now. Three one pitch to Thor, taken high and we walked him loaded. We have walked him loaded. Two by way of hit by pitch. That one on four pitch or on uh, five pitches. That'll bring up Noah Ross who RBI single to left last inning. Come set first pitch to him. Will be low ball one. One zero pitch on the way, called strike. Evens it up at a ball and a strike. Pitch to Ross, fouled straight back. Now one and two. <coughs> one two count here to Ross as Maynard trying to work out of a jam. Pitch on the way inside, two and two. Can't be selfish here, Coach. You got to take that one too. You got to take the run. Yeah. Can't bail out of the way on a curveball. No, you want to. Man. Oh man, you fooled me up. Oh. Let that and get you and yeah, go hit down my shoulder. <laughs> two two pitch on the way. Excuse me, foul ball. Or did he foul it off or did he strike out? Strike out. Strike out. Hmm. Second out of the inning. Shane O'Brien pumping strike three. Not a, I thought he, I thought he got a piece of it too. thought he got a piece of it. That will bring up the shortstop Wilkinson. Wilkinson struck out last inning. As Wildcats looking to get out of a jam, not give up anything. Bryant comes set. Pitch on the way, strike. strike over the outside corner. It's easier when you're pitching ahead. Oh, one pitch in the dirt. Good job, everybody. Gage swallowing that one. Real good job by Gage. Got that chin tucked and was able to absorb that one. One one pitch on the way, low again, two and one. Bases full of the Nitro Wildcats. Looking trying to get out of a jam. Two hit by pitches and a base on balls. Swung on a miss, two and two. Now to Wilkinson. And a high fastball looks like. Two, two, two outs. Bryant comes set. Pitch on the way, going to be popped up. That might be trouble as Bazin coming in, coming in. He's got it. As that will do hurt. it for Nitro. They load them up, but they don't get any. We'll go to the bottom half of the third inning. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. I'm Jennifer May. 
family nurse practitioner at Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare at Chatteroy, West Virginia. Mountain Laurel is a federally qualified health center providing primary care and other medical services to individuals and families in Southern West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. Besides being a family nurse practitioner, I'm also a wife and mother of two. I've had a passion to work in the healthcare field for many years. This isn't just a job for me, it's a calling. Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare, where change begins. When looking for that special place for your next event, you might want to consider the Logan Country Club. You won't find a more beautiful setting or better service than right here locally. The Logan Country Club, located in Chapmanville, offers a wide variety of services such as weddings, parties, business meetings, and catering. They have a spectacular golf course for those who enjoy a day of golf. The Logan Country Club is always excited to welcome new members at any time. The Sunday Lunch Buffet is open every Sunday from noon till 3. So come out and enjoy some of the finest home-cooked meals in Logan County, right here at the Logan Country Club. Welcome back to the Raj. Bottom half of the third inning. Because it'll be Miller Ball Blankenship. Due up for the Wildcats as they trail three to two. Last time I haven't hit a moon shot. Handled by the shortstop all the way over on the, on right the second right. side, second base side. On the first base side a second. Yeah. First pitch to Miller. He's gonna roll it over to the shortstop Ooh. as kind of Got on Wilkinson, took out late little bunny. So that'll be an E6, and that'll put Ivan on first to lead off the inning. That'll bring up Rob Ball. See what Kevin elects to do. As I think Big Rob might be bunting. I mean, that's, that's what you do in this situation with a runner on nobody out. Nope. Rob missed the sign. Kevin is not happy. Yep. And I, that's exactly what he was supposed to do. Yep. We're going to have a little conference. Oh. <laughs> so <it's laughs> you see his head go, oh. <laughs> that's what that means. Oh, he's going to bunt this time, I bet you. <laughs> There we go. Rob squares what he was supposed to do last time. He's going to square before the pitcher gets on the mound. <laughs> Rob squares again. Pitch on the way. Nice job. Gets the bunt down. And it'll be a 1 3 put out. Good job. As. Just took an extra pitch. Yeah, that's all it was. Supposed to, have, uh, supposed to have got that. The first time. <laughs> yeah. And that'll bring up Luke Blankenship. A throwing error allowed Luke to get on last inning. A little low. Low ball one. That's trying to make sure our garbage don't fly away. Blow away here. One oh pitch to Luke. Down again. Two and oh. Two oh offering from Whitman. Outside three and oh. Pitched a blanket chip, walked him on four straight. So now we're at first and second with one out. And Tanner Akers, who was hit by a pitch in his first at bat, right in the back, comes to the plate. Whitman comes set, pitch to Akers, high. 
ball one. You got a left or right, right wind blowing in about as hard as it can. Mm -hmm. As Acre swings over top of that one, one on one. Well, I'm telling you, if Seth Hainer wasn't down here holding this, uh, just holding it, he's got it by the by the braces, we'd be gone. Coach, we would be gone if Seth. I mean, I don't know how much weight Seth lifts, but if it's, it's like, anything that he gets in the mirror and poses, it's like <laughs> Samson. It's <laughs> like Samson. He's holding the temple together. I mean. Tanner swings over that. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Sid. J Jason likes a beer, too. <laughs> That's it. Come on. Yeah. So. Kevin, exactly. Uh, Kevin Moore, everybody in the mirror taking a picture. One and two pitch to Acres. Curveball. Try to turn into that mm -hmm. one. Two and two. Gym dogs, baby. Two two pitch to Acres swung over top of for strike three. As that'll be the second out of the inning. As Tanner swung through that one, and that'll bring up Adam Basden. Adam had an infield single his last time. Just legged it out. Two out runners on first and second. First pitch to Basden swung on, grounded to short. Should have went the easy way, but on a cross for the 6-3 put out. For the third out of the inning, we'll go to the top half of the fourth. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on yeah, Mountain Dreams. I was surprised he didn't turn it. 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander. At Thornhill Mitsubishi, get thunderstruck. Accidents, illness, heart attacks, strokes. When an emergency strikes, count on Logan Regional Medical Center. We're here providing emergency care 24 seven, including the higher levels of emergency heart care found in our accredited chest pain center and our enhanced cleaning, mask requirements and social distancing to help keep you safe. Emergency care at Logan Regional Medical Center. When minutes matter, count on us. Mitsubishi Outlander. At Thornhill Mitsubishi, get thunderstruck. Welcome back to the Raj. Chase Hatfield to the mound. As Kevin Gertz is going to go out and do a little uh, manicuring there. Manicuring. As. Cormac Gilderton will go to second base. Ivan will go from right field to left field. Crew Blankenship now into play center as Adam Bazden will move over to right. As Seth, boy, keep us tied down, brother. As it has been a windy afternoon. Yeah, the wind's blowing more than it was in that softball game. He would gust every now and then, although we wasn't outside, but you could tell. But now it's just kind of constant, constant blowing. We laugh, that might blow poor Chase Hatfield plumb into the slab town, <laughs> you know? Now he did some work in the weight room in the off season as well. He'll finish his warm-up pitches. Gage will throw through to second. 
for the Nitro Wildcats. It'll be one, two, three, Van Cap, Gordon, Buckner due up here in the top half of the fourth. Feel ready to go as Van Camp steps in. Nitro second baseman. First pitch over for a strike. Oh one pitch on the way. Stays up one on one. Van Camp's uh, strike zone's a little bit. Uh smaller than uh, a lot of these batters. He made the first out of the game, forget what it was, and he hit it into the fielder's choice last inning, or in the second inning, as he'll ground that one in nice the hole hit. between short and third, as Miller will be up with it. Get it into Cole, as that'll be a leadoff single for Barrett Van Camp. And that'll bring up Luke Gordon, the Wildcat center fielder. Looking for a bun here. That field comes set. And we're gonna throw over. Decent move, Eric. Uh, as Keeping close. Well, let's see. We'll probably see some type of action here from Van Camp. He may try to take second base. Hatfield kicks up. He's running on the pitch inside as Hensley's throw down, not in time. As Van Kemp didn't get a great jump there, but was still able to steal the bag. That's a tough throw into the wind like that, too. Deep in the box there. That's, that's tough. tough play for uh, Hensley. 1-0 count. As grounder fouled into the screen, one on one. O2 count here to Gordon. That field comes set, long ship breaks off, back in position. Pitch on the way, fouled straight back. It's been a long day, Coach. I've been here for the ACT. Oh, you've been here? Yeah, I was here for the ACT, a little bit of tennis, softball, and I'm finishing up with some baseball. Yeah, I saw the tennis was out there when I got on the island. That feel ready to go. 0 2 pitch on the way again, outside, 2 and 1. Everybody with a homestand today. There's a little league going on. Mm -hmm. Only field not occupied is the uh, extra field or the T-ball field down there. As it swung on a mist. As Cole Blankenship was wanting the, uh, the daylight play there from Hatfield, and he didn't get it. I believe the uh, Coalfield soccer even had something going on today. Soccer. Tell you during the break where they all play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Them little kids enjoy it. First pitch swung on and missed by Buckner. A lot of your uh, pro athletes, it's where they got their athletic uh, start was playing uh, youth soccer. Stuff I've been reading. Ooh, big curveball team restricted. Well, a lot of places don't let you, won't let you play mm -hmm. tackle football. Right. Until a certain age. So you right getting your I'm going to tell you right now, you Ivan's, foot eye coordination. Ivan's way too deep over here. Ivan's like 
six steps off the track. But that's going to be straight up. He's going to have to come in, field that one. That would have been, he wouldn't have had to move if he'd have been played there. Yeah, but you never know with that win. So I kind of don't have him back. And he's got good speed coming forward. Because that'll bring up Hatfield. He's one that always it was. Hatfield walked as you can around tell. into short. You can tell by looking at him, and he's had, he hit the weight room in the off season. As lead off, man on second. As foul ball into the screen there by Hatfield. on the way. Love the late up. catch, yeah. They scored first. 1-1. One, one. One, one pitch on the way. Grounded in the hole. Cole up with it. Across the loop for the 6-3 put out. And that's how we'll end the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of the fourth. Wildcats Trail Nitro, 3-2. to two. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action, Fountain Dreams Media. Hello, I'm Elise Hinkle, Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner and Director of Behavioral Health at Coalfield Health Center. Our providers have experience with a full spectrum of disorders. To schedule an appointment with one of our providers, call 304-855-1222. As a community, let's help each other address mental health. We are here for you when you are ready. Coalfield Health Center, let our family take care of your family. Superior Pocahontas has been serving Southern West Virginia for over 40 years, specializing in excavation and reclamation. We are the ones to call. Services include drainage systems, retaining walls, flood control, sewage disposal systems, and much more. Give us a call today at 304-752 four three one two we would be more than happy to assist you superior pocahontas serving southern west virginia whether you like traditional banking or online banking logan bank and trust has you covered lbnt has five convenient locations where customers can stop in make a deposit get a loan or a new instant debit card too busy to stop in don't worry logan bank and trust offers online banking with mobile deposits banking app and loan applications at the click of a button from anywhere any place and any time member fdic equal housing lender logan bank and trust we are the difference Welcome back to the Raj. 3-2, bottom of the fourth. Gage Hensley leads off for Logan. As Gage swings at the first one, fouls it straight back into the screen. He drove in two runs with a single. Back in the second. 0-1, check swing, 0-2. Hensley in a hole 0 and 2. O2 pitch outside 1 and 2. Again, this is the Jordan Butcher Classic coach. As we were supposed to have a game last night. Playing this one today. Then we'll make the one up from last night on Monday. As off speed pitch taken high. 2 and 2. Two-two pitch from Hensley. The Hensley swung on a miss for strike three. That's the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up McCormick Gilderton. And Mack went down on a called strike three, his last plate appearance, after trying to get a bunt down twice. As he'll look to bunt, ooh, bunt for a hit that time, takes it up and away for ball one. Swing at the next one, foul it off. One and one. Landon Cheese low, freezing to death in the wind now. 
as we are out in the elements. 1-1 one, one pitch to McCormick. Grounded foul down by Kevin. 1-2. and two. Next pitch swung on. Pops straight up. Third baseman's in. He makes the play. And it's Hatfield. As I'll call that a wind-assisted pop-out. I think any other time that one makes it on top of the concession stand. Yeah, that wind just kept it in, in play. Because if you if you watch the catcher when he came out, he went straight to the dugout. Mm -hmm. Third baseman caught that almost on the line. So that brings up the leadoff man for the Wildcats. That is Chase Hatfield. As he takes the first one high. Hatfield on the mound now for the Cats as he'll Swing at that one. Stewart's going to have a hard, tough play. Nice up and over, and he got him for the 5 3 put out. Nice play there by Devin Stewart, or Devin Hatfield, I'm sorry, as that'll end the inning. We'll go to the top half of the fifth. Logan Trails 3 to 2. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. I'm Jennifer May, family nurse practitioner at Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare at Chatteroy, West Virginia. Mountain Laurel is a federally qualified health center providing primary care and other medical services to individuals and families in Southern West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. Besides being a family nurse practitioner, I'm also a wife and mother of two. I've had a passion to work in the healthcare field for many years. This isn't just a job for me, it's a calling. Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare, where change begins. When looking for that special place for your next event, you might want to consider the Logan Country Club. You won't find a more beautiful setting or better service than right here locally. The Logan Country Club, located in Chapmanville, offers a wide variety of services such as weddings, parties, business meetings, and catering. They have a spectacular golf course for those who enjoy a day of golf. The Logan Country Club is always excited to welcome new members at any time. The Sunday Lunch Buffet is open every Sunday from noon till 3. So come out and enjoy some of the finest home-cooked meals in Logan County, right here at the Logan Country Club. Adams, Adams on the mound. Welcome back. As Adam Baisden will go to the mound. As Hatfield back to second. McCormick back out to left. Uh, I'm going to go to right. Uh, and crew right, yeah. will stay in center. As Baisden looks to finish his warm-up pitches. As we're in the top half of the fifth inning with a 3-2 Nitro Wildcat lead over the Logan Wildcats. Baisden's last one. And that'll go all the way down. Coach, we got a looks like we got a pretty good one over on the softball field too. Yeah, I believe Logan just took the lead to it, uh, two nothing. Uh, I turned around right when Taylor No hit a nice double uh, RBI off the fence. As Baisden's ready to go. It'll be Rocco Lazo, Brady Whitman, Michael Thor up for the Wildcats. As Lazo's been hit by a pitch twice. First one on the way from Baisden, strike one. Two Lazo. Oh, one pitch to Lazo. Taking it at the knees, strike two. Quickly in a hole, 0 and 2. O2 pitch from Baisden. That's going to be outside, 1 and 2.
One two pitch on the way, curveball. That's the slider, I'm sorry. Broke too sharp. Two two. Faison's 2 2 offering. Foul back. Yeah, that's going to make. That's in a swamp. That is, did not make slab town. It looked like it went off that telephone pole thing there. Yes. That will fall down in the murky water that is the remnants of the, the high water flood behind the island. 1 2 pitch. That's going to be sky to center as crew going to drift over and he'll take it for the first out. As that'll bring up Brady Whitman, who's singled, and he's been hit by a pitch. Left-handed hitting Whitman, still on the mound for Nitro. First pitch on the way. He's going to take a shot down the line. Nice play. Oh, that was almost a fantastic play by a patron. Down the line, as mm -hmm. he was playing it barehanded, so we'll get yeah, that yeah, that out. and the ball was being and it was hit. I think moving away from him too, as. over his head. I mean, it's just a good job to even get a hand on it. Really, is that a Cincinnati Reds jersey he's got? No, I think that's Trace Butcher. I think it's uh, Jordan's brother. Oh, okay. One-on-one -on -one count here to Whitman. Yes, he's going to take another shot, slap it out there. It's trouble if it's fair. Foul ball. As we're going to get a little action from yep. Nitro. Yep. we got a guy going down to the pin. I can't tell who that is, though. I don't know. I thought you could go through that gate and walk there a whole lot easier than. They didn't know that, Coach. Okay. <laughs> One two pitch, slapped again. Ooh. Ooh. Onto the party deck. Yeah. Man. Makes it easy for the ball runner. I don't even <laughs> have to do it. I was already up there getting a hot dog for one of them. Kristen's <laughs> up there. She got it. Speaking of that, if you're just driving through the area and you want a good hamburger, stop by here at Roger E. Gerd's field and hit the concession stand. One two pitch, two two. Hamburger hot dogs. I will say that is the it is the best concession stand hamburger you'll eat anywhere. Right here. Bays it ready to go. Two two pitch to Whitman on the way. Up and away. Three and two. Is that just a fastball that just slips out of your hand? Full count now. Bays it come set ready to go. And he lost him. Back-to-back -back fastballs that just kind of tailed away up high and outside. As that'll bring up Michael Thor, who's in the fielder's choice and walked. Is it T H O R? Yep. God of Thunder. Should have brought your hammer, Coach. I know. I I was using that the other day. Showed it to Kevin. He said, "I'm going to try that." First pitch Ooh. on the way, up and in to Thor. Yeah, uh, you don't want to wear that one. That was you. You wear that. High. And you wear that, and it's on. It's gonna catch your chin there. Three two, top half of the fifth. Nitro leads Logan as, but a runner as. Gage couldn't find the ball able to find it late to keep the runner from going to third. As that's Whitman. As Figure it down as a wild Boy, pitch. We got a timeout as Coach Jim Willis making his way to the mound to have a chat with Adam Baston. Have a little mechanic talk mm -hmm. yep. going on out there. Coach Willis came out of retirement last year. A couple of Wildcats back for back again this year. It was great to see him back at it. 
one of the best baseball minds, baseball guys you'll ever run across. Not just baseball. He's a good, great guy, period. And has one of the most dry, best sense of humors you'll ever run across. Oh, yeah. Because you never know if he's really being serious or not, and it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, is, he, is he joking? I don't know if he's joking or not. You really don't know. <laughs> 2-0, Thor one out, Whitman on second, as breaking ball, 3-2, and two, and I'm not sure, we crossed up, Gage. Yeah, it wasn't what he's won. No, no. Gage was looking for something else. That ain't Gage now. No, that's Alton. Alton back there Alton, now. Alton's behind the plate now. Alton Ellis. Yeah, as. Another one of these freshmen. Two of them in the field right now, uh -huh. center field and behind the plate. <clears throat> My watch is telling me to stand up. I ignored mine a long time ago. Pitch on the way, fastball, three and one. My grass is telling me to get home and cut it. Yeah. <laughs> Three one pitch on the way, taking for a called strike three and two. Bunch of them side by sides over, sound like a swarm of bees. Uh, you getting ready to take off run? No, I'm not allergic to them. I'm not a fan. I don't care if you're allergic, allergic to them or not. That's gonna hurt, Coach. Yeah. Full count pitch, it's called strike three. three. Thor went down. Look, Thor went down. Looking for a Shannon O'Brien. Thompson for circuit court judge strike three. Is that will bring up Noah Ross? Noah's got an RBI single and a strikeout. Speaking of Thor, who do you got, Mike, Mike Tyson or, or Jay Paul? <laughs> I'm going with Iron Mike. I, I mean, I just here, here's my deal. You know, uh, even if it's staged. Oh, yeah. He jacks around and hits him in the mouth one time. Oh, true. That cat's got his hands full. I, I really hope it's Mike Tyson does win. Yeah, kind of stop this nonsense and these shenanigans. Yes. Baddest man on the planet at one time. Seth Hainer behind us. I heard him <laughs> say that. Wins back up. I remember when it was the night that uh, Buster Douglas knocked him out. I was in college, and uh, back then, before internet and everything else, somebody had uh, was on the phone because the only way you could get hold of anybody was the old payphone on the on the dorm floor. Right. And uh, somebody said, "Tyson just got knocked out." I'm like, "You're kidding me!" Everybody on the floor was like, "You're you're lying. There's, that's not possible." Over in Japan, wasn't it? Yep. Foul ball from Ross, one and two. As Baisden looking to get out, skate the walk. As we got a pinch runner here, don't we? Yep. I can't pick my phone up or my papers will fly away. I there it is. Number, number zero. He's going to straight steal third. Good throw by Ellis. It's into left field. He's going to be up. He's going to score. And score as the throw gets away from Akers. As counting out two and two. Aggressive uh, base on the base path there by the no, normally throw. Normally with two outs, you don't see somebody try to steal third. That will extend the lead to four to two. Two two pitch on the way. High three and two. Three two offering on the way from Bazin. Swung on and missed. And that'll do it. We'll go to the top half or the bottom half of the fifth inning. Four to two, Nitro leads Logan. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action.
on Mountain Dreams Media. In 2024, Mitsubishi Outlander. At Thornhill Mitsubishi, get thunderstruck. Accidents, illness, heart attacks, strokes. When an emergency strikes, count on Logan Regional Medical Center. We're here providing emergency care 24-7, including the higher levels of emergency heart care found in our accredited chest pain center and our enhanced cleaning, mask requirements, and social distancing to help keep you safe. Emergency care at Logan Regional Medical Center. When minutes matter, count on us. Mitsubishi Outlander. At Thornhill Mitsubishi, get thunderstruck. Welcome back. Yes. It's Blankenship Miller ball due up for the Wildcats. As Cole has struck out and been hit by a pitch. Whitman still on the mound. 0-2 now. He's had coming into this inning, he had 71 pitches. And that's an average of about 17 per inning, which is pretty good. About a normal average high school inning between 15 and 18. As outside, ball one, one and two. One two pitch. Breaking ball taken away, two and two, as Cole has even the count up. Two two pitch on the way, skies one toward left, as left fielder's camped under it. That is Luke Buckner for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Ivan Miller. Ivan's fl flew to short and E6. Stranded on second, back in the third inning. He's moved from one side of the uh, outfield to the other, too, isn't yep, he? He's shifted around. So he's going from right to left, back to right. As Luke Blankenship now down in the pen for the Wildcats. As a one pitch taken one one. One one offering. Curveball taken inside, two and one. As up next pitch upstairs, three and one. Uh, and outside. As three one pitch to Ivan, who turns on it. As it's going to be give a look over and got room. As Buckner in foul territory just across the line. Gets a second out of the inning as that one drifted, drifted, drifted. And see he's able to lay the clamps on it just before getting into the fence. As we're gonna have a pinch hitter, I think that is Jackson McClung. Yep, that's Jackson. Gonna hit for Rob Ball. Yep. As McClung grounds the third, shortstop up with it. After it goes off the third baseman, we an E5. But nice pinch hit there. But McClung's on. It was a hard hit ball. 
So Blankenship will trot out of the dugout. He's going to get a runner, too. And who, who's he hitting for? He was hitting for, and Crew's going to run for him. So that's who the so spot where they're hitting. DHing for. So okay. Crew will run. Blankenship, and that'll buy Luca secondary to get ready. So he was down in the pen warming up. Heard some graps. Yeah, they just caught a runner out at third, I guess. From uh, Hurricane Faithful there. So. Uh, Blank and chip to the plate now. First pitch to him from Whitman. It's going to be grounded in the hole to short. Nice, nice play. play. Across. Oh, yeah. Heck of a play for a 6 3 put out. Yeah. By Wilkinson, and that'll do it. As we'll leave one stranded, we'll go to the top half of the six. Four to two, Nitro leads Logan. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. I'm Jennifer May, family nurse practitioner at Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare at Chatteroy, West Virginia. Mountain Laurel is a federally qualified health center providing primary care and other medical services to individuals and families in Southern West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. Besides being a family nurse practitioner, I'm also a wife and mother of two. I've had a passion to work in the healthcare field for many years. This isn't just a job for me, it's a calling. Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare, where change begins. When looking for that special place for your next event, you might want to consider the Logan Country Club. You won't find a more beautiful setting or better service than right here locally. The Logan Country Club, located in Chapmanville, offers a wide variety of services such as weddings, parties, business meetings, and catering. They have a spectacular golf course for those who enjoy a day of golf. The Logan Country Club is always excited to welcome new members at any time. The Sunday Lunch Buffet is open every Sunday from noon till 3. So come out and enjoy some of the finest home-cooked meals in Logan County, right here at the Logan Country Club. Welcome back, Luke Blankenship. On to the mound for the Wildcats as Ivan Miller will go to first base. As Adam Bazden moves to right, and everything else will be the same as Chase Wilkinson will lead off this inning. Made one heck of a play. Going to his hand, going to his right. Going to his right. Going to his right. Turned that and planted and came back. That was nice. Throwing the guy out at the first. That was an absolute heck of a play. Yep. Web gym right there. We've had that on replay. As Blankenship completes his warm up tosses. How do you do it? You push a button when the play happens? We did last year. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now if, if Brennan Goff can do it low, you can do it. Miss Brennan. Brennan's selling cars up yeah. Thornhill. If, you, yep. if you're in the market for a new ride, go see Brennan That's up right. Thornhill. That's true. He had a. He now owes me $500 for a live read. <laughs> <laughs> he had a uh, had a post on there about something about a pickup truck. Yeah. Something about every, every woman loves a pickup truck, a man with a pickup truck or something. How's that go? About pickup man. Pickup man. Aaron Tippin. Yeah. Who has who has played the Coalfield Jamboree twice. Here, twice. As Blankenship ready to go. We are in the top half of the sixth inning now. Four two Nitro leads is just a bit outside on the first one. He also <laughs> played the uh the Freedom Festival. Yeah, he did. I actually go gotta go on his bus. Gave him some uh, wrestling shirts. Pitch 2 0. Met the band, that was pretty cool. Luke struggling here to these first two, trying to rein it in.
2 0 pitch on the way, 3 0. Came in and bought a bunch of bicycles and donated them to yeah. the. Uh, like a lift, went to Walmart, brought them back. Yeah. Donated them to the bike thing that they yeah, had. Yeah, bike rodeo. Yeah, bike rodeo. Yeah. 3 0 pitch for playing chip. Walk. As that'll put Wilkinson on. As that'll roll the line up over and bring up Barrett Van Camp. He singled last time up. Flew up, singled, flew out, singled, and hit into fielder's choice. As Blankenship's first offering to him popped straight up. Looks like Ivan's got a bead on it. As will be the first out of the inning. Bring up Luke Gordon, who grounded out as singled and struck out. I, 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 and my man Jay is trying to relay me some information here and I can't figure out what he's doing. <laughs> trying to give us a softball score is what he's trying to do. Right? We keep two two, right? Two two bottom of fifth over there on the other field. As in between innings we whipped around long enough to see an absolute bomb. <laughs> yeah. Is that girl? Oh, she almost made a heck of a play there in center field, and it popped out of her glove as she dove. Isabella reaching base again. That's first pitch there is a strike. Last time she was on, she uh, she was drove in by uh, Taylor No. As that's going to be in the hole. Base, base hit. That is Gordon who singles the left. That'll put him on first and second with one out. And Buckner up, who has grounded out, struck out, and flew out to left. That's just a second. Was that a wild pitch? Yeah, because Kaylee's still batting. Good bunt. First pitch inside, ball one, to Buckner. Buckner, a little, playing shift taking a little too much time for his liking. There ain't no pitch clock, but. No. <laughs> There's one in your head. We're ready to go. As he'll swing Ooh. up the middle. Nice play by Hatfield. Oh. Nice to Cole. Woo! First. Yes, sir. As that is a 6-4-3 double play. Talk about web jams. There's As. your web jam. Cole, or Chase Hatfield to Cole Blankenship. On to first. We'll step aside, take a timeout. We go to the bottom half of six. Four to two. Nitro leads Logan. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. The 2024 Mitsubishi Outlander. At Thornhill Mitsubishi. Get thunderstruck. Accidents. Illness. Heart attacks, strokes, when an emergency strikes, count on Logan Regional Medical Center. We're here providing emergency care 24-7, including the higher levels of emergency heart care found in our accredited Champaign Center and our enhanced cleaning, mask requirements, and social distancing to help keep you safe. Emergency care at Logan Regional Medical Center. When minutes matter, count on us. Mitsubishi Outlander. 
at Thornhill Mitsubishi. Get Thunderstruck. Welcome back. New guy on the mound for Nitro. Is that Thor? As it is going to be number 15. No, man, Thor. Thor's at first two. base. Sure, i got to find a lineup card here. As that is number 15, who is not in the game. Not on the lineup card. Hold on. Hey, is it 50? Let me look. Hey. 15 to the mound. Chase Wilkinson, the shortstop. Okay. Sorry about that. I overlooked it. Oh, he's the one who made that play. Yeah, made a heck of a play. First pitch on the way to Tanner Acres, strike one. Then right after that, Logan makes the play yep. for a double play. One to Acres. Two two <laughs> as Wilkinson come in. I've been loosening up. Over there. O2 pitch misses down the way. One and two. Tanner has struck out and was hit by a pitch. He came around and scored a run. As he's going to go down looking. As that is a Shane O'Brien Thompson strike three. And that'll bring up Adam Baisden. As Basin's got an infield single and grounded to short. First pitch on the way to Basin, right down Broadway. Oh, one pitch taken for another strike. I'm, Wilkinson ain't wasting no time. He's coming in checking the peel. And O2 pitch to Baisden off his fist foul into the swamp. That was more of a curveball, wasn't it? Yeah, it was off speed pitch. Yes. 0-2 pitch again in the dirt. 1-2. One 1-2 two. One pitch to Baisden. Called strike three again. Brian Thompson for circuit court judge. Strike three for the second out of the inning. As that'll bring up Alton. Alton Ellis, who is hitting for Gage Hensley. Gage had an RBI, two RBI single, and a strikeout. As Ellis now in. First one down and in. Ball one to Alton. Strike. Oh, one oh, taking over one on one. That's one one pitch, two one. Two one pitch on the way. Ellis takes a shot toward right field. Going to hit the building foul. Two and two. Same. Staying alive as those bad boys are about seven dollars a piece. But you keep hitting in the water. As Ellis lines the next pitch into left field. And Walton will single. Tying run coming to the plate. As that'll bring up McCormick Ilderton. It's a good guy to have coming up there with runner on base. 
Max struck out and flew out to third so far today. Wilkinson comes set. Pitch right off the fist of the shortstop. See if he, nope, going all the way across. He ain't going to get him. Nope. That's an infield single for Ilderton. <coughs> I don't understand the thought process there. That is the second time that the Wildcat middle infield should have took the easy one. Mm -hmm. and, he, and, he, and the second baseman was right there. He was waiting for the ball. You get to cut the lead runner off. As Jace Wolf will now pinch hit. Jace was the only one with a hit a uh, couple of times down at the beach. For the Wildcats with runners on first and second and two outs. First pitch of him swung on and missed. Another freshman. Strike one. As he'll hit for Chase Hatfield here in the sixth. As he'll look at strike two. Oh, and now in a hole, 0 oh and two. Next pitch on the way to Wolf. He'll top it toward the shortstop. Going to be another tough play as it's on nope. a cross, and he's safe for another end. Base is loaded. As we've loaded them up. Tying run at second. Go ahead, run at first. As that will bring up Cole Blankenship. Ooh, I like that. As senior. Got a timeout from the Wild Nitro uh, dugout as Dave Steed, longtime assistant coach at Nitro High School, took over a couple years, two, maybe three years ago as a head coach. Was he on uh, Coach Pritchard's staff there? Yes, sir. He was there with Steve. Uh, he was actually there. I can remember him being there when I played back in the early 2000s. Good Lord. So he's playing uh, with wooden bats back then. Yeah. They were a little bit better than what, <laughs> a little bit better than wood. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was him old. Uh, them lightning rods. Yeah. Bases loaded, two outs. Cole with the plate. First pitch to him. Good job there by the catcher. Keeping that in front. As Wilkinson from the street. From the windup, 1-0 pitch. Excuse me, foul ball. Yep, came inside on him. As due up for Nitro in the top half of the seventh. It's 4-5-6. Top of seven. As Blaine and Chip will look at strike two, one and two. One two offering to Cole. Stays alive. Puts that one over into the drink. As well, here we are, bottom six. Four two. Nitro leads Logan. Well, we got another home run. As Cole swings and misses for strike three. As we'll leave him loaded. Ooh, that's that's hurting there. We'll go to the top half of the seventh inning. Logan Steel Trails Nitro 4 to 2. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. Hello, I'm Elise Hinkle, Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner and Director of Behavioral Health at Coalfield Health Center. Our providers have experience with a full spectrum of disorders. To schedule an appointment with one of our providers, call 304-855-1222. As a community, let's help each other address mental health. We are here for you when you are ready. Coalfield Health Center, let our family take care of your family. Superior Pocahontas has been serving Southern West Virginia for over 40 years, specializing in excavation and reclamation. We are the ones to call. Services include drainage systems, retaining walls, flood control, sewage disposal systems, and much more. Give us a call today at 304-752 Four three one two. We would be more than happy to assist you. Superior Pocahontas, serving Southern West Virginia. 
Whether you like traditional banking or online banking, Logan Bank & Trust has you covered. LBNT has five convenient locations where customers can stop in, make a deposit, get a loan, or a new instant debit card. Too busy to stop in? Don't worry. Logan Bank & Trust offers online banking with mobile deposits, banking app, and loan applications at the click of a button from anywhere, any place, and any time. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Logan Bank & Trust. We are the difference. Welcome back. Landon Lowe fell asleep in between innings as Ivan Miller. He's froze up. He said over here was this cold wind. Yeah. He said freezing. We'll go to the mound here in the top half of the seventh inning for the Wildcats as we got an opportunity with them loaded in two outs as Ivan will come in to face four, five, six for Nitro. Adam goes back to left field or right field as Baisden will go back to right. It'll be Hatfield, Lazo, Whitman due up in the seventh. Still Alton behind the plate. Yep. Good job of the uh, Nitro pitcher getting out of that jam last inning. Absolutely. Third baseman Hatfield, first pitch base. swinging, base hit into left field. Bring up Rocco Lazo, who's flew out the center and then been hit by a pitch twice. He has scored a run, stolen a base. Miller sets curveball. Hit him. Caught Lazo again. Did it hit him or hit the bat? Got so he hit him. As it's the third time Mr. Lazo has been hit, hit by a pitch. Thought that was one of them like wiffle balls if you hit the bat. <laughs> yeah. Indian ball. Yeah. Or I don't know if we can even say that anymore. <laughs> Get in trouble. <laughs> Runners on first and second, nobody out. That brings up Brady Whitman, who's now on the mound. Or no, it's shortstop for Nitro. As he'll square to bunt. Missed it. Uh, went through it, strike one. Whitman squares again as he'll foul that one off. Now one on one. Who's at first base? Or no, O2, excuse me. Is that Luke at first base? Yep. He was down there by the plate when that ball was got to got to the batter. Whitman in a hole O and two as Pitch on the way, foul ball off his foot. Stays alive. Oh, 
as Tanner will move off just a little bit. As her ball strike. called strike three. That's a big out. First out of the inning, and I just got an update on my watch, Coach. And Tiger Woods shoots 10 over 82 today in his third round of the Masters. So that mm. is the high score of any round in his major career. Uh, I don't think he'll make it to the Masters. There's anyway. another. That's off the wall. That's another. That's two runs there. Nope, oh, one. Yep, two runs. Because we're going to have a pinch hitter for Thor. That is going to be number zero. I'm going to have to pull that back up. That makes it 7 3 over there on the softball field. As first pitch outside for a ball. Yeah, this is the man that was uh, scored the uh, last run there on the uh, overthrow. Number, or number zero. His name's Xavion, and he got hit by a pitch. And that'll load him up. And I apologize to Xavion, but I cannot. I think. I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. It's not written very well on the lineup card. Whitest? I, I don't know. Is that what it looks like? Is it the kinda looks like Kind of looks like white. Xavion White. That's what we're going to roll with. So he's on first after he got hit by a pitch. So. It looked like an EST on there, too. Well. Where that's all that's what we can white, only do what white. we can do. As Noah Ross. Oh, that's a pinch hitter. Not to see the number. He's got his shades on. Time and Number up. seven. First pitch in the dirt gets Coming by. Home, yep, he's going to score. As runner scores from third. We've got a deep, deep backstop here. That's definitely going to score a run. Pitch. That is Leighton Marie. Leighton Marie at the dish. As Kevin Gertz out of the dugout. And I think we got a problem. I think. Alton got caught in the fence. Yeah, yeah. He got his, when he went back there, I noticed he kind of went down. So I believe Gage is coming back. Gage will have to come back. It looks like it, they're looking at his hand. Oh, okay. So that's a. I saw him kind of go down when he went back there to grip, pick up the ball. It was like after he picked it up, it was like, that, that's why I thought, well, same thing you thought, he got his foot caught maybe in the, in the fence. Marie at the plate with a 1 0 count. And an insurance run has just been added. 5 to 2 now. With runners on second, third, one out. Miller comes set. Pitch on the way. Will be high. high ball 2. Square to bunt. We're going to squeeze. And that's going to be a foul ball. As the old most exciting play in baseball was on. Best ones were suicide. That's what that was, Coach. Well, they didn't run it first, though. Don't have to be. Oh, okay, that's right, because he's coming home yeah. from third. As two and one now to count to Marie. As five to two, Nitro leads Logan here in the top half of the seventh. As the, he was going to safety squeeze that time, went around. Two and two. What'd you think of Daylor Cruz? Six point four seven, wasn't it? From home to home. No, it was fourteen home to home. It was six or seven. Yeah, six point seven. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, yeah fourteen. All right. That is uh, absolutely. Smoking is what that is. 
2-2 pitch. Called strike three for the second out of the inning. Yeah. As yeah. Jace Wilkinson, I think, to the plate now for the Wildcats. As he is on the mound, he struck out, flew out the center, and walked. First pitch swung on from Wilkinson, grounded toward Cole. He's up with it across the first. Good stretch. And that'll be the 6-3 put out. We'll go to the bottom half of the seventh. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. I'm Jennifer May, family nurse practitioner at Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare at Chatteroy, West Virginia. Mountain Laurel is a federally qualified health center providing primary care and other medical services to individuals and families in Southern West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky. Besides being a family nurse practitioner, I'm also a wife and mother of two. I've had a passion to work in the healthcare field for many years. This isn't just a job for me, it's a calling. Mountain Laurel Integrated Healthcare, where change begins. When looking for that special place for your next event, you might want to consider the Logan Country Club. You won't find a more beautiful setting or better service than right here locally. The Logan Country Club, located in Chapmanville, offers a wide variety of services such as weddings, parties, business meetings, and catering. They have a spectacular golf course for those who enjoy a day of golf. The Logan Country Club is always excited to welcome new members at any time. The Sunday Lunch Buffet is open every Sunday from noon till 3. So come out and enjoy some of the finest home-cooked meals in Logan County, right here at the Logan Country Club. Four, five, six, or three, four, five, excuse me, do up here for the Wildcats. Miller, then McClung, so it'll probably be Crew Blankenship. It'll be Miller, Blank, Crew Blankenship, then Luke Blankenship. Do up for the Wildcats here in the bottom half of the seventh. Down three runs. Yeah, last inning. Nitro was able to get that one little run there. It might be. Hopefully, it's not insurmountable. Wilkinson's first pitch to Miller inside, ball one. Anytime you're down, you don't want to give up that extra one, though. <laughs> one, one now, two. Ivan. He's hit the ball hard. It's just not been. Flew out, the, happens, yeah, flew out to right, nice. or flew out to short, and flew out to left. Yeah, that's taking low, and he got on an E6. Pitch on the way, Ooh. inside, three and one. Three one pitch to Miller, and he'll take ball four. And that's what you want. Mm -hmm. The leadoff lead guy on. Yeah. As Crew Blankenship now comes to the plate, and this will be Crew's first at bat of the game. As the left handed hitting Blankenship. First one to blanket chip. Looks like he was going to, in between wanting to bump for a hit. Yeah. And pulled it back. Called strike though. But in a hole, 0 and 1. Next pitch to Crew, fouled straight back. Now 0 and 2. As our next broadcast, we'll be here with you Monday night as the Wildcats take on the Scott Skyhawks here from the Raj. Game over there at 
tomorrow, uh, Monday night, too. I'm not sure who it is right now. So I don't know what we'll do. If we'll try to roll the double broadcast again or how we'll do it as throw over. Close. Not sure where Ivan's going down three runs, but a little too close for comfort. Mm-hmm. Pitch on the way to Blankenship, called strike three. He came on and he is he is doing yeoman's work out there. That is his one, two, three, fourth strike out. As that will bring up Luke Blankenship. He woke up on that big play there with shortstop and then and he ended up continuing that success on the mound so far. Pitch on the way to Luke, grounded to short. We'll see if they can turn it. Six, four. Nope. Held on to it. Double pump coming out. So I'd see. say the coach may have told him there in between innings. If you got a chance to get that lead runner, just get him. Just get the one. So that's a fielder's choice for Blankenship. Two and outs. That'll bring two outs, and that'll bring up Tanner Akers. Yes. Tanner struck out twice, and he's been hit by a pitch and scored a run. He had the big big hit down in Chapmanville, one of them. As first pitch, fastball taken over the outside corner, strike one. Tanner fouls that one straight back. Pitch grounded foul, Akers still 0-2 as Logan down to the last strike. As Blankenship will lead from first, Akers at the plate, calls timeout. Pitch on the way, low. One and two. One, two pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. And that'll do it. As that is a swing and strike out to end the game. As Nitro defeats Logan. Five to two here from the Raj. As we'll step aside with We'll take a break. We'll be back with the Honaker Funeral Home postgame show right after this. You're listening to Logan Wildcat Baseball Action on Mountain Dreams Media. Welcome to the Honaker Funeral Home postgame playback, brought to you by Honaker Funeral Home in Logan, offering traditional burial and various cremation services, including pet cremations. Give them a call at 304-752-1311. 304-752-1311 or email honakerfh at wirefire.com. Honaker Funeral Home in Logan. Welcome back to the Honaker Funeral Home postgame show. Well, Logan Wildcats go down 5-2 to two here to the Nitro Wildcats, Coach, on what wraps up a long day here on the island. Long day, long day. Started, Beautiful day. Started this morning with the ACT, had some tennis, a little bit of softball, now finishing up with baseball as the – They're going to have a JV game now, I believe. Yeah, I think they're going to play JV after this, so – your Justin Brown agency player of the game. We're going to give it to Gabe Chinsley. He drove in the two runs. Yeah, he drove in the two runs and had a good job behind the plate there early on and then actually came in there at the end. 
came back to the plate at the end of the game. But that will that'll wrap up. Good win for them Nitro Wildcats. As they take the season series from the Logan Wildcats. They That's right. They went over there too, didn't they? And yep. coming here and got a win. So we will but that'll do it here. We'll be back with you Monday in some type of capacity. We're not sure if we'll be softball, baseball, if we'll be dual broadcast on Monday. They'll be uh they'll be playing at home baseball sometime later on next week too, yeah, don't they? We we got a full week going with makeup games and everything going forward. So once again, four the on-site producer engineer, Landon Cheeselow. Derek Browning on the camera on the dugout. Can I say your name? Braden Bryant. Braden Bryant, who we tried to get on the air here for a second. I know. Didn't want to say nothing. For the coach, Jason Davis, I am Nick Booth. Good night from the island. <laughs>